All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step three. All right. So one of the most powerful tools is our developer console. Depending on our browser, this might be open by pressing F12 or Control Shift I. Right, let's press F12 to see what happens. All right, so we got the console over here. Let's do a Control Shift I while we're at it. Ah, there we go. And uh, on Mac, we can press Option plus this butterfly plus uh, C and select console. We can also click the console button above the preview window to see the built-in console. So this thing right here, right? Uh, the developer console will include errors that are produced by our code, but we can also use it to see values of variables in our code, which is helpful for debugging. All right, debugging, I mean, it sure is. Uh, we're gonna add a console.log hello world line between our script tags. And then we're gonna click the console button to open the console. And we should see the text line, hello world. And we're gonna note that the line ends with a semicolon. It's common practice in JavaScript to end our code lines with semicolons, right? So let's come in between these uh, uh, between these two script tags and press tab to go over one. And we'll say console.log and we'll have double quotes, hello, and then world like this, right? And we use double quotes because uh, mo most of the time there's gonna be a lot more apostrophes around than there will be quotation marks. Right, so just so we just so we don't have to uh, do this right here, and we'll get to that later. What this is, uh, just so we don't have to do that every time we use double quotes just for convenience. Right, so we've got this, and also uh, let's open up the console. We can see it right here, and it works. But we can also see it works without the uh, semicolon. But on for this for this program that they that they made for this uh, site for this course, it won't work unless we have the semicolon on there. So just remember that as well. So let's check the code. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to step four. And we'll see you next time.